with Dr. Bill Bailey and this is the Vert Zine Netcast. Vert Zine is the netcast that addresses virtualization and cloud computing. And so we want you to enjoy the netcast and get all the various information that will help you with your virtualization and cloud computing efforts. All right, also we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the Vertzine Netcast. All right, let's look at the items we have for this netcast. Uh, it's been a little while since we had the last one. Ver, uh, Ver, Vertzine number 21 was back, hmm, looks like March the 12th. <laughs> so it's been a little while, so bear with me. VMware 5.0 Update 1 has been released. This was noted on Friday, March the 16th, so it's been out a little while now. We have actually already moved to VMware 5.0 Update 1, and it's working well. No big gotchas in moving there. And uh, it, did, it did update the VMware tools. So if you have VMs out there and you go to VMware 5 Update 1, even though it's still VMware 5, the tools got updated as well. Yeah, when you've got hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of servers running on top of your VMware uh, cluster, and you have to update the tools, that's a bummer. You know what I'm saying? But hey, got to keep those tools updated if at all possible. Now, eh, they tell you it's not absolutely essential, but let me tell you, you want those new device drivers. Know what I'm saying? They release them for a reason. So you need to go ahead and use those new device drivers if at all possible. So go ahead, schedule a time, take down your system. Uh, well, basically do your upgrade, which will require you to take down your system. So schedule some downtime to do the tools updates as well. Next item, Panologic exceeds virtualization market numbers. Panologic is the cute little uh, silver cube terminals. I'll put a picture of one. Actually, over here, I pointed over there to the Angry Birds, but actually, it's over here. The little Pano terminals, they're really cool looking. And, you know, they kind of look somewhat like the, uh, the device that was on Star Trek, the episode with Gary Seven, you remember that? It was called Assignment Earth for you super trekkers that remember episode names like I do. <laughs> Assignment Earth. And it had Gary 7, and they tapped this little cube on the table, you know, the desk there, and it would talk to them. And do you remember, um, oh, wow, what was the name of the, of the actress that played? What was that? Terry Gar. Terry Gar, yes. Yes, my wife Belinda is cueing me from the other room. But anyway, Terry Gar, she played Ramona Lincoln who was the, see, I remember the character name, but I can't remember the actress's name. But at any rate, she played uh, a 1960s person who came to work for Gary Seven, did not know that he was an alien. Well, actually, he was an alien. He was a human who was kidnapped by aliens and taken to uh, a planet where the preservers wanted to help Earth. And never mind. The point is, <laughs> she was confused by the little box that talked to her. Would you be confused by a box talking to you even in 2012? It probably would still make you go, what? I don't know, our phones talk to us these days. Maybe it wouldn't bother anybody. But anyway, the point is, Panologic terminals look like those little cubes. And they're cool. And so they are exceeding the sales numbers of most all terminals. Coolness. Cloud computing, as it turns out, next item here, is going to generate more jobs than did the internet. Now you think about all the jobs that has been generated by the internet. Let's think a moment. Now think about, I mean, we're talking all the e-commerce, all the various websites, all the web hosting, everything that's been generated by the internet, cloud computing will generate more jobs than that according to a recent study. Now, that's encouraging to me because, A, I'm a cloud computing guy, <laughs> it's good for me, and B, it means that the 
universal acceptance of cloud computing is taking off. I mean, if you look at the numbers on Amazon's S3 cloud offering, they have gone, I mean, you wouldn't believe it. It looks, the acceptance level in terms of number of objects stored are like, like this for years, and then all of a sudden in the last two years it's gone, yeah. <laughs> and it's just straight up almost in terms of growth. It's amazing. And actually, I have quite a few files out there myself now. So even folks like me are using it. So, anyway, <laughs> next item, <laughs> Dell buys Wise. See, my tongue was already getting confused in the mere expectation of having to say that phrase. Dell buys Wise. Now, this, of course, is Wise, the manufacturer of uh, terminals. Back in the day, they made Wise terminals. And, of course, today make Windows terminals and VMware View terminals. Well, Dell has bought them lock, stock, and barrel. Okay? Dell, as a matter of fact, this week has been on a, uh, basically for the last, yeah, I guess really the last week, because this was dated April 2nd. So anyway, they have been on a rampage buying up companies. But the biggest one to me was Dell buying wise because they are trying to expand their thin client and virtualization software because wise, you know, also has developed uh, Pocket Cloud, which is the pocket device, handheld device, iPhone, Android phone, t uh, terminal emulator. I really hate to call it a terminal emulator because it's not really that it mu as much as anymore. It's really a means by which to show the screen of a VDI session, okay? Loosely, you could call that a terminal emulator, but really it's not. It's just a means to get there, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, they are developing their presence in VDI by uh, purchasing WISE, which is really pretty cool because WISE has been around forever. I mean, I've, I've had WISE terminals back in the day when I was working with you know, DEC VAC systems that we had WISE terminals around and so forth back then. Well, now here's Dell's bottom and they're doing all this cool stuff and they're in software as well as hardware. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff, okay? So look for good things coming out of Dell. And I think the thing about Dell is they're diversifying, you know? They're trying not to be just known as a computer company, particularly since we're supposed to be in a post-PC era where people are going to be ditching their PCs and using mainly just tablets and VDI devices and things of that nature. You know, I'm looking for when you can look at, like out into the air and it'll be projected into a hologram in the middle of the air. That would be awesome. So anyway, just think that would be neat. And wouldn't it be weird if it has a little Dell logo down in the corner when you're watching that? Just saying. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed Vertzine this week. Remember to keep your head in the cloud. <laughs>